On this episode of It's Me or the Dog, <laughs> three-year-old American Bulldog Sasha is putting everyone on guard, and two-year-old Mastiff Digweed has started putting up a fight. Stay-at-home dad Daniel can hardly keep up. I do get overwhelmed. But unbelievably, he wants to add more to the mix. No, 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 don't come with excuses. And shock some sense into Daniel. <laughs> it really gives a reality check. Before this bullish battle ends in tragedy. No, oh, 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 Sasha. Oh, you have to step up and protect your children. <laughs> Before you make a decision to bring a dog into your family, you need to ensure that every member of the household is on board and that the dog is a good fit in your home. If you don't, you could end up with a divided household and an anxious and unconfident pet. My name is Daniel. I live here with my wife, Randy, my two dogs, Sasha and Digweed, and my stepson, Ethan, and my daughter, Chloe. I love my two dogs, but I can't trust them. I'm afraid someone will get bit. That's really my worst fear, that they're going to do something to hurt one of the kids. Back. Uh, I'm having a really tough time trying to figure out how to juggle the responsibilities with the kids and the responsibilities with the animals. Sasha, back. I feel like we've signed ourselves up for more than we can handle. <laughs> trying to raise a family and keep those dogs. To help formulate her plans for training, Victoria will first spend a day observing the family and their dogs. Through the glass, I could see two very big dogs running for the door. Sasha, come here. Hello. Diggs. Hello. 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 Oh, beautiful. Dad could immediately Goodness. see, wow, these owners have a lot on their hands. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Daniel. Daniel, good to meet you. Hi, I'm Randy. Hello, nice to meet you. This is my daughter, Chloe. Hi, Chloe. And this is Ethan. Hi, Ethan. Hi, Hi sweetheart. <laughs> and this, oh. This is Sasha. Oh. And this is Digweed. Oh, Dig my gosh. Ah. Sasha, no, come here. OK, I see a problem. She get nice. jealous of him? Yes. yes. Sasha hasn't been happy since we adopted she Digweed. Does. She's very possessive of all the attention. <laughs> Yeah, and he's hiding there, hiding yeah. from her. She tries to bully him around, and she decides what he can and can't do. Sasha's domineering behavior towards Digweed hasn't stopped Randy's son, Ethan, from attempting some bullying of his own. This is a favorite game of theirs. He likes to bring a sword and pretend sword fight. And when she's had enough, she breaks out the growling. So they play this game quite often? Yes. I had such a tough time trying to hold my tongue while I saw Ethan prodding a sword at Sasha. I thought any minute now, Sasha's going to have a go at him. So Ethan, do you like your dogs? Yeah? Do they ever get really scary? Do they go? Well, Diggs doesn't. He just go ahead some bites. Oh, he does. Has he snapped at you before then? Okay. He bit me on the thumb. He bit you on the thumb? These dogs are displaying behaviors that are very concerning, especially around the children. Whoa. Periodically. That scared me. <laughs> I see right there, that's him standing his ground. She's not backing off, though, is she? No. What would you do to stop this? I'd just go grab their collars. And okay. I'd accept, do, I, I'd do, pull do, Sasha. Do, I would like you to do it now. Sasha, come on. I was worried about the dogs having a fight in front of Ethan, so I had Daniel just take Sasha out into the garage. With the situation diffused for the moment, Victoria has a one-on-one -on -one with Daniel to find out a little more about Sasha's history. Is Sasha spayed? No, the breeder I got her from said that he had had a lot of demands for pups and that it would be really cool if I would one day return with her and breed her. Sasha hasn't been spayed because Daniel wants to breed her, and it drives me crazy. I love bully breeds, you know? I love the way they make me feel when I look at them. I love their protective nature. And one day, you know, if I could work through these challenges, I would love to start a, a bully breed rescue, you know? OK. Here is a guy who wants to breed his dog and add to the pet overpopulation problem. But I'm sure he doesn't see that. But also wants to start a bully breed rescue. Don't get it. How difficult is it for you to manage um, Chloe and the dogs throughout the day? It's extremely demanding and very difficult. I've found that lately I've had to separate them. If they start to demonstrate behavior that, you know, puts anyone at risk, I put them in the garage. And it soon becomes apparent why the dogs need to be separated from the kids. Uh, no, oh, 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 Sasha. Oh, oh. oh. 
And that's a good example of why I separate her now, even when she's in her high chair. OK, separate her now. You can take okay. her right out. Come on, take Sasha. Right out. That's bad. When I saw Sasha growling at Chloe, that really, really worried me. It's a very serious situation when you've got a big, powerful dog growling at a baby. Daniel may be dealing with a scary situation inside, but outside, the dogs present another kind of danger. I couldn't get the door closed before the dogs were dragging Daniel down the driveway. Whoa, come on, this way. Goodness, I had to run to keep up with Daniel and the dogs because the dogs were pulling him so fast, and a couple of times I thought he was going to fall over. That's quite an exit. Yes, Ooh. yes. Now, I have him on the lead, which is about 15 feet out because he's the hardest to control. Right. Then I have, whoa, hold on. Then I have Sasha closer to me because she's usually the easiest. Whoa! I've seen a lot of very bad leash pulling in my time as a trainer, but this, this was off the charts. How many times then on an average week would you walk them? Maybe once on a Saturday, like when the family's home and I have the extra help. Mm -hmm. There's times I'll do it late at night when everyone's in bed. OK. And if I can get one out the back and the other one doesn't know what's going on, then I'll shoot, you know, like Digweed a lot of times. I'll take him down around the block because he tends to be the one that dashes out the door. Yeah, So I yeah. try to get him out. You know? If Diggs gets out when he mad dashes out, yeah. there's no catching him. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> back inside, Victoria wants to find out how the dogs are affecting the rest of the family. How do you feel about the dogs? Most of the time, I feel very frustrated with them overall because I don't trust what could happen if they start fighting. This is very typical because Diggs is getting close to him. She can't stand it. She gets very jealous. Yes. It was very interesting to see Sasha crawl up the side of the couch, over the back of the pillows, and then wheedle her way in between the couple. This is very typical. She's positioning herself in between us. And she would sleep in between us in the bed if I didn't have a problem with that. She would? Yes. What happens if you try to get her off now? Most of the time, she'll growl at me. I want to see what you do. OK, Sasha down. Sasha down. Sasha down. Sasha down. Down. <laughs> Very typical. Sasha kind of drives a wedge in between me and Daniel sometimes because of how protective she is of him. What happens if things don't change? I'm really close to the point where I just want them out of our house. The thought of Randy getting rid of the dogs makes me ill. Now, Digweed. You were irresponsible bringing Digweed into this family. <laughs> Digweed is being bullied constantly. And then he gets to the point where he can't take it and he lashes out. And then they fight. Woo. I'm worried about the kids' safety when they're tangling up and making the loud noises. OK. And, and that's our biggest concern. My biggest concern is not just that. It's the way you've allowed Ethan to play with Sasha. That is an absolute recipe for disaster. Chloe just reached out her hand at Sasha, and Sasha growled at her. No, oh, 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 Sasha. Oh, oh. It's reached a point now where I do separate the dogs from the kids because it's just easier that way. You have to step up and protect your children. At the end of the day, we've got to come up with some sort of plan so yeah. that everybody can be successful in this house. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of work to do. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's we go. Are. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.